In this video, I'm going to share with you three reasons why you should practice rotation if you're a doubler playing the alto, tenor, and the soprano saxophone. The number one reason is practicing rotation helps you to develop your ear. For example, if you pick up your soprano saxophone and you practice a lick, let's say in the key of G, and if you pick up the, the alto and you play the same lick in the key of G, but using the alto saxophone, it's going to sound a bit different. It's going to sound lower. The pitch is going to be lower than on the soprano saxophone. In that sense, your ear will be forced to hear the change in pitch. So that's one reason. And what that does is that it helps you to prepare your ears for the transposition that is about to take place. Second reason, if you practice rotation, you are also practicing how it feels to hold the different instrument. For example, if you hold the tenor and the soprano and the alto, they all feel and uh, the weight of the instrument feels different. The, the way the keys on the instrument play is also different. And apart from that, because you know the height of the instrument, the tenor is much bigger. You know, it feels very much imposing when you're holding the tenor compared to the alto. And once you pick up the soprano, it feels like you're holding nothing. Some people have called it a lady, a lady instrument, the, the soprano, because of how thin it is. It's, it feels a bit fragile once, once you hold the soprano saxophone. So once you practice rotation, you pick one instrument, you practice the same lick, and you pick the next instrument, you practice the same lick, you get to adjust to this different feel of all the instrument. So once you go out to perform, you don't, it doesn't feel strange to change instrument. Which brings me to the third reason, which is actually because of performance, you should practice rotation. For my case, before I started playing the soprano, I used to play the alto and the tenor. My first instrument was a clarinet. And then after uh, a few years, I picked up the alto saxophone. I never went back to the clarinet, which is a pity because I should have kept practicing my clarinet. But anyways, so if I pick up my, my alto and I practice a little bit and then I pick my, my, my tenor, I realize when I go out to perform, it doesn't feel strange for me to drop the, the alto and pick up a tenor during a performance. So what, which means that whenever I'm practicing, I'm thinking more about how I'm going to use the instrument during my performance. So I try as much as possible to make sure my practice simulates my performance in a way, in such a way that I don't make it strange for myself. The feel of the instrument, how the, it feels under the fingers and how the bulkiness of the instrument feels when it's closer to my body, I have eliminated all those problems by practicing rotation. But there's also a disadvantage of doing rotation. The first and most important, I think, is time for example if you are doing rotation the first instrument you started playing should be the last instrument you pick up and then since i play the alto tenor and the soprano the soprano seems to get more attention and the alto very little attention so if i have three hours to practice for example i realize that i'm practicing maybe one hour or one and a half hour on the soprano. And if I have, and then the one and a half hour remaining, I share it between the tenor and the alto. And I realize I, I do practice more on the tenor before I know it, oh, I've got only 15 minutes or 10 minutes left, so I pick up the alto. So the, the second disadvantage of practicing rotation is that um, it sometimes it feels like you're a jack of all trades. It is difficult for me to play on those instruments made in the 20s, 30s, 40s, mostly because my instrument is, is a modern instrument and the key layout is quite, is quite different compared to those instruments. So that can be a disadvantage if you're a double on, on the soprano, alto, and tenor, which means that if you have an instrument that is not made of the same 
um, quality of uh, material and, and building technique, which means that you suffer a great deal because you have to adjust to how that instrument feels. So if, if you pick, uh, so for example, you have a turner made in the, in the 20s, you have um, an alto made in the 70s, you have a soprano made in the 2000s. So you're going to also suffer the disadvantage of adjusting to how the instrument is being laid out. If you like this video and you like the content that I've been putting out so far, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much in advance.